everybody. How are you doing? Today, I bought this video for uh, all of you guys. And this video is about to provide you some additional information and additional uh, sources uh, for your studies, especially for your social and history studies. Today, we're going to talk about Indus Valley Civilization. In this video, we will discuss everything about the Indus Valley Civilization. And if you watch this video until the end, I'm sure you will be understand every single thing that happened uh, in Indus Valley Civilization. Why do, we do, why do we have to study this civilization? Because this civilization is one of the oldest uh, civilization in the world. And uh, in, in, in our ICGSC, and uh, in our uh, curriculum, we have to study in our history class, socials class, uh, we have to study about Indus Valley Civilization a lot. And that's why I came up with this video, which will help you to understand more and better. So let's just start the video. Today we're going to start Indus Valley Civilization. In this topic, we're going to focus on these other facts. The discovery, time period, important places, naming, origin, features, expansions, and decline. So we will study about the Indus Valley Civilization from the beginning, from the discovery until decline how it was discovered and and then how what happened and how it declined so let's start from from the first topic discovery discovery uh, nearly 200 years ago india was under control of britain britain were ruling in india during that time this person you, you see photo here his name was Charles Mason. He visited the first place. He visited the place that was undiscovered during that time, which was uh, later became Harappa, but area in India where no one uh, ever visited. So he visited in India first time, twenty seven. That's why we we know him as a the first person who discovered the about this civilization but actually and when uh, when he went to visit uh, those region when he came back came back i mean when he came back to england he wrote about these places in his magazine his magazine name was narrative of journey so in his in his uh, magazine he wrote about these places but he couldn't discover a lot about that so he just he was the first person who used about those places later in discovery there were two brothers called John Burton and William Burton these two were engineer from Britain and they were working in India as a uh, engineer of railway. In nine, in 1870s, from 61 until 70s, for about 10 years, they were building railway tracks as an engineer in India. When they were building the railway, railway track in India they found some kind of bricks and material because uh, they were digging the land so they found some kind of bricks and materials which they had no idea that may that these bricks and materials were uh, were part of any civilization and they when they didn't try to know more about it what was that 
what they just did, they reused these bricks and other materials that they found in railway line, in railway tracks. So whatever they found, they could use, they used to, to build the railway track. It was their main concern. And they never tried to know wh where were uh, those bricks from and what do they belong to. It, because it was not their job. And next, John Burton and William Burton found bricks. And they had no idea that these bricks were part of civ a civilization. So they used those bricks in a railway track. John Herbert Marshall, this guy was actually the founder, we will say that. John Herbert Marshall, he was a director of general of the Archaeology Survey of India. We can say that he was, we can say that a team was formed to discover more that what was there in that part of India. So the, those team had a this person was the director was the head of those team there were two teams actually you can see in one team was being led by Dayaram Shahani Sahani he was Indian and the other group was being led by Rakhal Das Banerjee he was also Indian but the head of these two group was John Herbert Marshall. He was not Indian. The, the team that was being led by Daya Ram Sani, he first Indian, I mean he's the first Indian to be appointed general director of director general of the Archaeological Survey of India at Harappa. We can say that Daya Ram Sahani was the first person who discovered Harappa in 1926. And the other team, Rakhal Das Banerjee, the one who discovered Mohanjo-Daro. So there were two sides and two teams work, were working. Head of those teams was John Herbert Marshall. And these two other teams were working on a two different uh, sites. So, Dayaram Sahani, who discovered Harappa, and Rakhal Das Banerjee, who discovered Mohanjo-Daro. These were both were Indian archaeologists. Now, our second topic, which is time period starts. We, when we talk about the time period, like from when until when this civilization existed, there are many books that tell us about the time period of the Indus Valley Civilization and all are different. The reason is we are not sure about any of these data because we can't read the writing evidences that could tell us the right time period. There are some ideas that are popular among them. There are basically three ideas that people believe to be true. First, John Marshall. John Marshall, who was this person? The leader, the, the head of the team, both team, John Marshall. He believed that the Indus Valley Civilization existed 3250 BCE to 2750 BCE. And there was also another D.P. Agrawal, who was Indian archaeologist, and he believed that the civilization existed from 2300 BCE to 1750 BCE. And this method was actually based on C14 method, carbon 14 method. Carbon 14 method is a type of method that uh, scientists use this carbon 14 to know anything's age how old the thing is or particular stuff is so and uh, this data which shows that 2300 BCE to 1750 BCE and there's a also very common so 
based on these two data, there's a very common idea that people were also agree on that the Indus Valley Civilization existed from 2500 BCE to 1700 BCE. Important places. When we talk about important places, what were the important places in the Indus Valley Civilization? Here we can see that there are some places green here. Harappa, Magar, Mohenjo-daro and Lothal. These four cities were very were considered like important ones. And here you can see that the map how and where the city was interconnected to each other. Here Harappa and there was Mohenjo-daro and these are actually uh, far from each other almost a thousand kilometers. Next the topic is naming. Why do we call this civilization as an Indus Valley Civilization? Or if there is any other name? There are few names of this civilization. Number one, Indus Valley Civilization. Number two, Harappa Civilization. Number three, Indian Civilization. So this civilization is known by these three names, these three common names. Why we call it Indus Valley Civilization? This civilization was located near the Indus River. That's why we call it Indus Valley Civilization. Which is the, a very common way to name any ancient city. Say, uh, suppose in China, the people, the civilization that started in China was near the river, Wanghei. So that Civilization is also called Huanghe Civilization. And same here in India, this civilization was near the river, and that's why we call them Indus Valley Civilization. Number two, Harappa Civilization. Why should we call this civilization as Harappa Civilization? It's just a fact that whenever we try to find any civilization, and whatever the city we find first, that city becomes the name of that civilization. So when those two teams were digging out and trying to find out the evidence of the civilization, the first place were, was found that was Harappa's, Harappa city. And that's why Harappa was the first city that was found. So people started calling that civilization also as Harappa civilization. Harappa was first city to discover in 1921 and that's why we call it Harappa civilization. Indian civilization because it was in India so know it by Indian civilization too. We know it. 